Work smarter, not harder. That's the catch cry, but how do you go about doing it? In this video, we're gonna talk about five different types of tools you could be using as a business owner to save yourself heaps and heaps of time. G'day, Ben Futrell here, co-founder of Max My Profit, where we're all about helping you build the business that you imagined. Now, if you imagined a business that was a lot easier to run, that took less of your time and relied less on you being there, then this video is definitely for you. There's no doubt about that. Now, a wise man once told me that if you spend all your money, it's not a big problem because you can always make some more. However, if you spend all of your time, it is gone forever, and it is how you invest your time that will matter the most. Now, if you spend all your time working in the business and none of your time working on the business, then the likelihood is that you won't be as successful and you certainly won't enjoy uh, building your business. The other way around is where you get to work on the business and get the business working for you so it doesn't rely on you having to be there. Now there's some amazing tools out there, especially with technology that help you save heaps and heaps of time. And what I'm going to do in this video is take you through five different areas or five different tools or types of tools that you could be using to help you out. Now the first tool I want to talk about is automation tools and these are things that make things happen automatically and these tools are things you might have heard of if this then that if not you can go away and google it get the app on your phone if triple t uh, another app that is very similar is called Zapier or Zapier however you want to pronounce that but these apps what they do is they are connectors if you like so when one thing happens they can make something else happen and this can be in your business life or in your personal life so for example if the temperature drops below a certain point it can turn your air conditioner on home or if you get an email from somebody uh, from a customer for example it can alert somebody or, or create a task in a project management software uh, you can have it so when you get a lead on Facebook from your Facebook marketing it automatically goes into your CRM or gets sent to your sales reps your team whatever it is that you want to do so these tools are all about connecting apps together. Now one of the most frustrating things about all these apps is that you don't typically have just one to do everything. You do have 5, 6, 10, 15, who knows, there's so many of these, these electronic apps these days. Whilst they're all amazing, one of the biggest downfalls is that they do not talk to each other in a lot of cases. So Zapier and If This Then That, both of those tools will do that for you. I really encourage you to take a look at those tools and start automating all of those things, making your life heaps easier. Tool number two is a CRM, and there's a lot of conjecture around what CRM stands for. We probably won't go too much into that today. <laughs> you put down in the comments what you think it stands for, because I've heard of contact relationship manager or client relationship manager, who knows? But anyway, it's a great tool that allows you to automate the management of all of your contacts, whether it's customers or prospects or potential uh, customers that uh, you've dealt with before. It, it could be uh, people, customers that you've dealt with in the past, doesn't really matter. What the CRM allows you to to do is to keep track of all your communications with those people plus a good CRM package will automate comms with them as well so things like sending out regular emails or text messages it can set reminders for your team to call people uh, it's a great place for people to keep notes as well so if you've got a team of people working for you when they deal with a customer or a prospect they can leave notes in there it makes it much easier for the next person uh, when they get a contact to talk to that person as well I also find it's a really good time saver get rid of post-it notes in the office if if a customer rings in or a prospect rings in and wants to talk to somebody, use your CRM to track that conversation, log it and create a task for whoever it is that has to do the return call. So a CRM is paramount these days and there's lots and lots of different tools available. I personally use Infusionsoft, which has also been dubbed as Confusionsoft. I think they've just changed their name to Keep, K-E-A-P. Uh, but there's lots of tools. There's ActiveCampaign, there's uh, there's uh, HubSpot, there's uh, I think Pipe Drive, there's some free stuff, there's Pay stuff you you name it it's all out there i recommend uh getting something and don't be afraid to pay for it because it will pay for itself now number three on the list is another bit of software or i guess it's not so much software but it's an online program or tool that will pay for itself and that is project management software now if you've got a team of people or even for yourself if you've got lots of things on the go it can be quite hard to keep on top of it all and stay efficient so really good project management software allows you to be able to uh, monitor what's going on with each project delegate tasks uh, put in budgets, timeframes, attach things, uh, invite your customer, prospect or other teammates to collaborate, all sorts of things. And so some of these tools include things like Trello, uh, Teamwork, Asana, 
Uh, that's just a few of the names that come to mind, but all of these tools are really good at helping you become efficient and making sure that you do not drop the ball. Very, very easy these days with so much going on in our lives to get distracted and not stay on track. So I think a project management uh, tool is one that is a must for every single business owner in 2021. Now, when it comes to managing your diary, there is nothing more frustrating than the old tennis match where you go back and forth, back and forth, back. Are you available? Are you available? No, I'm not. What about this time? What about this time? Very, very frustrating and extremely inefficient. Wouldn't you agree? So I am a big fan of using calendar scheduling uh, tools like Calendly, Appointment Core, Appointly. All of these tools allow you to send a link to your customer prospect or the person that you want to meet with and they can select a time from your diary. Now what you do with these tools is you actually pre-specify what times you are available for this type of appointment. So for example, let's say one of the types of appointment you might do is an initial consultation. You can actually set the times that you are at your A game or that you'd like to have that happening in your diary. So let's say you just wanna do that on Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings from 8 a.m. till midday. You can tell these tools that that's the only time you have available. You can also tell these tools to leave a buffer once an appointment is booked of a certain time point at point in time, maybe 15 minutes, 30 minutes, if you need time before or after to take notes or prepare. And you can also maximize the amount that are available if you want to look busy or you know if you don't want to do too many of those in a week because it sucks up too much of your time, whatever it might be. Very, very good tools for helping you get super efficient and, uh, and making it easy also for the people that are booking an appointment with you to easily select a time that suits you and them. Now, the fifth and final area that I'm going to talk about is communication. Now, we all know that email is a time sucker. There's no doubt about it. If you're you know, anything like myself, you get lots and lots of emails and a huge amount of them would be irrelevant. It's no longer the best way to communicate. I think the best way to communicate now is with uh, voice messaging. It's very, very quick and very, very effective. And there's some apps out there that allow you to do that, whether it's Slack, uh, WeChat, WhatsApp, these apps, even Facebook Messenger allows you to send voice messages and it's very, very uh, efficient. And one of the downsides that's hard to search back through voice messages, so you may prefer typed messages, uh, but you can do text to speech as well with your phone. And these apps go on your phone, you just hit the little microphone, you talk away, they're very, very accurate when they transcribe your voice and away you go, you can send a message. So using these apps will save you a lot of time. So there you go, there's five areas or five different tool types that you could be using in your business for 2021. If you're a business owner and you're looking to save time and be more efficient, then these are tools that you should be using. But also I'd encourage you to have a chat with our team uh, where we're all about helping you build the business that you imagined. So there you go, five tools to help you get super efficient in 2021. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You know what to do, you know how to do that. Smash the subscribe button as well. Make sure you don't miss out on any further content coming out. Make sure you go and watch some of the other videos as well that we've got that will help you become super productive and profitable in your business.